In today's video, we're taking a look at the top five meta assault rifle loadouts here in Warzone 3. So if you all enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like for the algorithm, subscribe to the notifications turned on, and let's hop into it. First gun we're taking a look at here is going to be the Ram 7. This is a perfect resurgence assault rifle. You can be super aggressive with it, and I really like it. So our first attachment is a VT7 Spearfire Suppressor, basically keeping us off the radar, helping the recoil control, pull flossing, and damage range. All really great things here for this Ram 7 because it will kick a little bit. You can really just make an absolute laser beam. Now we're gonna go up in here. We're gonna throw in the XRK Core Mark 40 Heavy Barrel, giving us that gun kick control, aiming idle sway, recoil control, bullet velocity, and range. So this is just a barrel that's really gonna make us just extend way, way far out, and it's gonna make this more of a true assault rifle, which is ideally what we want. Now we're gonna go down here, stabilizing it out with the Bruin Heavy Support Grip, just help with that gun kick control, aiming idle sway, horizontal recoil, and of course, firing aim stability. So just like I said, we uh, we were stabilizing the gun out, and this is just something we use on so many of our different guns, whether it be assault rifles, LMGs, even the, you know the WSP Swarm as an SMG. We've ran this on a variety of different things. This is really good. Got to, of course, go down and throw in a magazine. I'm a 60 round mag kind of guy, so we are throwing on the 60 round drum. So the 60 round drum, in my opinion, is the only way you guys should ever run this gun. That's just because 40 rounds is really just not enough in any capacity. And 60, I mean, it's a primary assault rifle, so we're really trying to make it the max amount of ammo in comparison to Warzone 2. Magazines and stuff doesn't slow you down nearly as much, so it's not really something we even have to consider in terms of our movement speed and everything like that. So definitely only go for the 60 round. And lastly, we're going to go throw up the uh, MK3 Reflector. You guys can always use the Iron Sights. I'll show you how to use Iron Sights if you don't want to run this specifically. I just kind of like running a red dot on this gun. It feels really nice. You guys can run the MK3, the Nidar Model 2023. It really doesn't matter uh, what red dot sight you throw on here. It's just entirely up to you. But if you do not want to run a red dot sight, go down here, go throw on a rear grip. And pretty much all you're going to do is throw on the Retort 90 grip tape. And that's going to be your full build right there. So this is an absolute banger. Definitely try this one out. Next up, we're taking a look here at the SVA 545. So this is an underrated assault rifle. That's actually really good. I see hardly anybody using it. So first attachment, much like the Ram 7, is the VT7 Spearfire Suppressor. Like I said, it keeps us off the radar, helps the recoil, bullet velocity, and damage range, all that good stuff. Uh, next up, we're going to go throw on the STV Precision Barrel. So this is the largest barrel we have access to, which is ideally what we want. It, it's an assault rifle trying to extend out that range as far as possible. So it's just going to help us do that. It's going to help us be better at longer ranges, which is what we want. Now, this is a bit of an interesting one. I did some research and I found out that the 5.45 high grain rounds for this gun actually do really well in terms of extending out its actual damage range and just really making your shots hit a lot harder. So definitely give this a try because this is actually really solid, though you don't have to run it with the high grain rounds. Um, this is kind of giving me back to some of those vibes with Warzone 2, where we're throwing on a lot of the different ammunition types to kind of bolster our overall lethality of the weapon. So definitely try this out, but you do not have to. You can switch it out for like an underbarrel, throw on like the Bruin Heavy Support Grip and be perfectly fine right there. Not the Jack Purifier, but you guys get what I'm saying, the Bruin Heavy Support. Now we're going to go down here and throw on the 60 round mag. 60 round mag, I mean 60 round mag kind of guy. Of course, this is the biggest one we got. So 45 and 60 is are pretty much our only choices here realistically. And 60 is just the way to go. And then lastly, we're going to go throw on the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5X sight. So... This is pretty much the meta uh, optic for this game. Re whether you're playing Resurgence or playing Big Map BR, it doesn't really matter. Uh, throwing on the Choreo Eagle Eyes is basically what we do. But if you don't want to do something like that, I've actually ran uh, with great success the SE Recharge, which is pretty much my other go-to site for an assault rifle. So between the SE, the Choreo Eagle Eye, you really can't go wrong. And this is my full build right here. Definitely give this one a try. It's actually really, really solid. Next up, we're taking a look here at the DG5658, whatever I want to call it, basically the three round burst assault rifle. This is an assault rifle that doesn't get used as much right now because I tried to nerf it a little bit, but it is truly an assault rifle that's actually really solid and I highly suggest you use it. So, Spirit Fire Suppressor, as per usual. Uh, we're gonna go throw on the DG56 LS18 barrel. And the reason I've called this the 56, the 58, I think it even used to be called the DG52 upon the release of the game. They've altered the name of this thing at least like three times. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm not sure if they're running into legal issues there over there at Activision, but it's changed a few times. But this is just the largest barrel right here, extending out our range, making it easier to be able to control, uh, basically able, more, more able to hit your shots, which is really sick. I'm gonna go down here, throw on the 40 round mag, but. I will say that, well, it's, it is a three round burst. So the 40 round is something you can get away with 
though you can throw on the 60 especially if you're playing quads you want a little bit more ammo in your mag that will actually work out really nicely as well but just because it's a three round burst you have the luxury of choosing between the 40 and the 60. i just have the 40 on here for a little bit more mobility and i figure i needed the 60 but definitely the 60 is okay as well and i'll just go ahead and equip that on there now we're gonna go on back here and throw on the Varanus Steady Grip, Varanus, whatever you want to call this thing. Uh, basically, the firing aim stability increase, gun kick control, and of course, recoil control increases are fantastic. Helps keep your uh, your sight a little bit more level when you're trying to hit those follow-up bursts because, I mean, you're going to be probably taking people down about two to three bursts, give or take, depending on how many headshots you hit with those shots. So this is something that definitely helps us out. Now, on this gun in particular, lastly, our optic, the Choreo Eagle Eye, does work out very very well so definitely recommend to keep this on here because this gun is a lot more of a precision based gun as opposed to like an assault rifle where you can get a tad bit more mixy with it like you can be a little bit more aggro this is not like the ram 7 like you want to kind of be picking people off so this will help you do that but this is my full build right here i uh, definitely give it a try next up we're taking a look here at the m13b this is an absolute banger an assault rifle and i don't see hardly anyone using it but you guys need to actually run this gun of course, Spirit Fire, or I used to call it, I think, the Spitfire Suppressor for a long time, but basically Spirit Fire, you guys know what it does. Uh, we're going to go throw on the 14 Bruin Echelon Barrel, which is the largest barrel in here, giving us a massive increase our bullet velocity range, recoil control, hit fire accuracy, and gun kick control. Fantastic stuff. Uh, you don't want to mess with any of these other ones. This basically tries to convert it into like an SMG or just like a shorter range gun, which is really not what we're trying to do. Definitely don't ever want to run the M13B that way. I know there's the M13C, but I really don't even like that one at all. So don't even mess with it. Just run the Bruin Echelon. I'm going to go throw on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for our underbarrel, which is something, like I said, we've ran so many times before. It's just so good on a variety of different guns. And this will genuinely make this gun an absolute laser beam. I get called out for hacking or having sticky aim or whatever like that all the time on Facebook when I'd be using this thing. So definitely, definitely try this out because you're going to probably start to get those same comments that I get. You're getting called out for hacking or something because... This gun is very good and it's super easy to build to control. It's like an actual certified laser beam. I want to go down here and throw on the 60 round mag. 60 round mag kind of guy. So we're throwing on that 60. And also because this has a higher fire rate, you're definitely, definitely going to need that 60. Lastly, throwing on the SE recharge. I personally do not like the Choreo Eagle Eye on this thing. I much prefer to run the SE recharge as like my site of choice. Um, I don't even think I need like a red dot, just kind of the SE recharge, the way this thing sits. I absolutely love it, and I feel like the gun hits incredibly hard. This is just a great optic of choice. Though you are welcome to run the Choreo Eagle Eye, uh, I would say that this is definitely the better option. I heard that running the Eagle Eye and like the Harbinger D20 or Harbinger D20 suppressor is a great combination, but when I'm running that Spear of Fire, I go for the SE, and it works out great, and I drop some high kill gameplays with this exact setup here. So this is my full thing. Hope you all enjoy that one. Lastly, we're taking a look at a bit of an unconventional build here, which is going to be for the Tempest Razorback. So a lot of the guns in MW3 or MW3 Warzone, Warzone 3 that are really good tend to be some ARs, a lot of LMGs, some Marksman battle rifles, They're not true ARs. So in terms of getting guys a really good AR, the Tempest Razorback is really up there and pretty much no one's using it right now, which is kind of weird because it's actually really solid. So First attachment though, not a suppressor. We need to run that X10 port at 290. So keep in mind that if you use this thing, you're gonna be showing up on that radar, but it is the most effective way to run this gun because I tried running it with the Spirit Fire and it's just not it. Um, the kick is a little bit too much. So in order to stabilize it out, you definitely need the port at 290. Now for our barrel, we're gonna throw on the 18 tac 2 l barrel, really making it so that we're extending out that range, making it super easy to be able to control this gun. Highly, highly recommend this thing. And it also gives you an increase to your uh, movement speed and aim walking speed. You do lose actually a tad bit of recoil control, which is not something we're too concerned with because we really, um, I think the bullet velocity and range increases way outweigh any of that stuff. And also to stabilize it, we're throwing on the DM Proto Grip, which is basically the grip specifically for this gun. Uh, you really don't have to run like the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. You can just run the DM Proto and be perfectly fine. Though you can definitely try and run the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. That's an entirely an option as well. Uh, we're going to go down here for our magazine and throw on the 60 round mag because we only have the options of the base 30, 45, and 60. Of course, we're going for that 60. Definitely need to run that. That's not really up for debate. And then what is technically up for debate is your optic of choice, which would be probably speaking the AMOP V4 and the SZ Recharge. So between those two, you really can't go too wrong. It's up to you. But 
my preference right now is the SC recharge and that's what i'd be running so that's my full build that's been my top five you guys enjoyed give it a like subscribe notifications turned on check out this other video on screen and i'll see you guys next time